Here at the cafe once again is the fantastic Josephine Kinsella from Mike Piotto Real Estate. Great to have you, Josephine. How have you been? Oh, I've been brilliant. It's been a great Easter and nice. here we are again. And you know, another short week coming up too, which is great. Okay, so we are looking at different places at great price points today. Yeah, so it's all about family spaces, versatile living spaces at a great price point around the country. Okay, I love this segment, so let's get into it. First of all, we're heading to Waitakere City in Auckland. Mm, Waitakere, and we've got Don Buck Road. This is a really functional three-bedroom home, and with 800 square metres of land, you've got this enviable, fully fenced backyard. You've got a vendor here that's relocating, so they're very keen to, uh, to see an offer come to the table. We've got an auction property here, and um, with valley views to the Sky Tower, uh, beautiful oh. um, refurbishment on this property as well. You've got really good value um, in the west here in Massey. So I, I'm thinking a price point around matching around about 750 is um, is great buying. Lovely that's sunny spaces. That's incredible. And look at that outdoor area Huge, and that section. Backyard. Yeah, oh, I, think, I love that price point. I think the price point's perfect. Yeah. So um, turn up to that auction. It could be yours. They've done a really nice job of refurbishing that, haven't they? It looks absolutely beautiful. It is top. Tops for the West. Nice work. Yeah. Okay, Pick from Auckland to Christchurch City, and we're off to Hoon Hay. So, Hoon Hay. So, um, this is at the Kashmir end of uh, Hoon Hay Road. And um, the great thing about this is that this is a gorgeous uh, three bedroom home. And again, it's uh, had a great refurbishment, uh, keeping in character, I think. Um, you've got, again, very versatile living spaces. You've got extensive renovations, country style kitchen. And uh, you've got this beautiful rear garden um, with a established trees, um, separate garaging, you've even got a veggie garden there and the school zones um, and of course you're close to Pioneer Stadium in, in Christchurch so great location. Yeah fantastic, um, I love Christchurch City so a good place to be buying I think if you're keen to live there or even as an investment property I yeah. would imagine. Okay let's jump back over the straight, we're heading to Auckland again. Yeah we are. Um, look uh, this one, um, sorry we're just uh, flipping over to Auckland, we've got Avondale, um, this is again an auction, um, we're probably looking at a price point around mid sixes, uh, three bedrooms, two bathrooms. It is location, location, location. Um, Avondale, of course, you're central to everything. St Luke's, Linfield, you're uh, I think two streets uh, walking distance to the train station here. So if you're looking at getting on the property ladder, this is one that you can't afford um, not to miss. It's um, upper right of way, so very private living. And I think you can really um, do a lot with this property. And what a beautiful outlook it's got too. I can just see people sitting in there enjoying a, um, you know, a drink on the deck having a good time there in their private little garden okay so let's we let's get to Stoke and Nelson a very sunny spot Nelson so what property have you got for us there so Nelson of course it's a bit of a lifestyle move here for a lot of people and with four bedrooms two bathrooms you've just got really beautiful stylish standout property here you've got 200 square meters wow. of living spaces which is a generous property um, you are positioned at the end of a cul-de-sac so perfect for the family again or if you just like that quiet relaxed living um, modern kitchens, you've um, you know fully set up for the winter months coming with the DVS system and um, great um, great heating throughout. It's just really functional modern spaces, again built for the sun um, and the Nelson climate. Who wouldn't want to move there? And the great thing is with that is it looks like you can enjoy it in winter with a little bit of shelter on the deck as well. There, yeah. what price point are we looking at for Nelson? So we're looking at early 600s for okay. that one. Again, great. This is good. I'm loving it. Okay, let's head to Lower Hutt City now. Lower Hutt. Now, Lower Hutt, um, there isn't a, a great selection of properties at the moment, and this one is sensational. Um, so uh, when I say it's not a great selection, there's limited on the market at the moment. So inquiries over 600,000. This gives you four bedrooms, uh, one bathroom, one garage. Recently ref refurbished, this is a 1970s solid home with good. separate garages. Good bones. Good, good bones, and fantastic living spaces. They've done an amazing refurbishment here. They've got a bit of a tropical theme going throughout, but spaces are light and, and breezy and um, just really built for the sun. Backyard um, is for entertaining and uh, they've got some, uh, they've spent a lot of money on the backyard um, with retaining and the entertainment area, it's got LED lighting, Ooh. so it's got a really neat feel to a family home. Move in, put your feet up. Okay, price point for that one? 
600s again, early nice. 600s. Wow. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good selection of properties, so make sure you go and check them out if you want. Uh, but I need some tips from you, Josephine, because it's winter time. If people are putting their house on the market over winter, what do they need to do? So winter time, um, th there's a few things that you probably want to be preparing your home for. Um, the first is look at your home and look at the natural light in it. If it hasn't got enough natural light, look at how you can further light in it. So okay. um, you know, go through your house and make sure the light bulbs are all changed, and they're also the right. Um, contrast. So, you know, are they a warm light bulb or are they a blue light bulb? You know, whatever's going to give it the best light. And does that change the feel of the house for prospective buyers? It does. So okay. you, you've got to be looking at your property and thinking, okay, I've got to market this out there as the most warmth attractive um, proposition out there. So look at things like temperature. Do I need to put more heating on prior to the open homes or inspections? You know, really plan for your, your property open homes. Um, dampness. Do I need to invest in an HIV system or, um, you know, heat pump? Um, Condensation's a big thing. Keep your windows open. Keep it nice and aired. Um, the outside of the property, you know, water blasting basics. You know, property maintenance. Make sure your gutterings looking yes. clean. Your gardens, street appeal. Everything is, um, you know, first impressions count. So when right. you're coming up to a property, um, you might want to invest in some extra planting, some pot plants by the front door. You know, you want to really invite people in and think, oh, this is a really warm, cosy home. And cosy is the word. Cozy. I think that's yeah. it. If you go into a home and you're thinking of buying it and it's cosy, it tips you over the edge sometime. Absolutely and of course um, just remember make sure you show the property at the best time of the day so um, be really clear in communicating with your agent that hey the best time to show my house is at this time of day. And, and you'll know what the best time is because you've lived there. Yeah. Great tips thank you very much Josephine okay. and if you want to check out the properties that you've just seen head to mikepiero.com. We will catch you again next time. Thank you Josephine. Well indeed thanks Mike.